Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and I have been sitting here staring at my computer. It's not very easy to do crypto videos today because the corruption that is being uncovered right now is so rampant. Most of my feed is is full of showing the corruption around, you know, the island guy and some The reason I keep referring to him by the way as the island guy here on YouTube is because Write it down. Most censored platform in all of social media as I sit here. And it's every day. I mean, I'm being censored. As, I mean, they're, they've literally got a governor on this on my channel that's whole, that keeps me below 200,000 subscribers. I've been at this for a long time. And as a YouTuber, you, you just know when they're doing it. And it's very obvious that what they're doing to me, not just me, but other people in the XRP community. You can spot it a mile away. Um, and they're doing it for a reason, I'm sure. Check this out. This is happening, folks. We're watching the liars, the corrupt, the criminals literally being suffocated by the truth in real time right now. We're seeing it. It's all I'm seeing on, on social media. The scumbags, they're, they're, nobody's buying their lies anymore. And by the way, um, to uh, Mr. B, um, he told me that I needed to check my volumes, and so I'm going to check those right now. And I thought about him because I am hearing the vacuum cleaner in the background. So if you hear a vacuum cleaner in the background, it's because there's a vacuum cleaner. The people came, they were cleaning uh, the house this morning. So, um, all right, moving along. The findings are in. Bitwise has surveyed 437 financial advisors across the nation to gauge their views on crypto assets. And here's what they had to say. This is just some of it. You have to go, I think, pay for their article to see the rest of it. Less than half of all advisors expect a spot Bitcoin ETF in 2024. That's surprising. Uh, I guess they're just not paying attention to the crypto market. The vast majority see its approval as a major catalyst access is a major barrier to adoption once you invest you tend to stay invested 98 percent of advisors who currently have an allocation to crypto in client accounts plan to either maintain or increase that exposure so that's interesting look at what dark defender says a lot of rampage from 63 cents to 58 cents he's referring to xrp and he says xrp is ready for the all-time high that I find interesting. I think it should it should be ready. Just in a, th a million dollars of USDT has been minted out of thin air from the Tether Treasury. That's the same Tether Treasury that the U.S. government just leaves alone, lets them keep printing money. Makes you wonder who they're really working with. Look at Jimmy Valley. Jimmy Valley had a question for Stephen Nariel. Hey, Stephen Neri, I have a quick question. Did Eleanor Terrett or Fox Business take you up on your ETHGATE expose? Stephen Neryoff was trying to get them to have him on so that they could cover his side of the Ethereum story instead of just having Vitalik Buterin's and Joe Lubin's um, side of the Ethereum story told. To my knowledge, they have ignored him to this day. I said, great question, Stephen Neryoff. I can't imagine they wouldn't want the scoop on the Dow being an inside job by the Ethereum Foundation, as you seem to be saying. And then Jimmy Valley doubles down. He says, what does AI think about this, Stephen Neryoff? What would you call a media personality that has been repeatedly made aware of a criminal fraud, yet does not do anything about it because of their boss's instruction or organizational restrictions? In this situation, you could refer to the media personality as a compliant or complicit individual. They may be aware of criminal fraud, but fail to take action due to their boss's instructions or organizational restrictions. <laughs> so Jimmy's like going all out there. Now, this 
is a clip that you've just you need to hear because it's important this is a it illustrates for you the what a complete joke this fiat monetary system has become and he and the guy makes the point using real estate listen to what he says back then in in the town that i live a middle class home was around, you know, maybe upper middle class was around $500,000 to own a house if you were going to buy it. Today, that same exact house goes for a million dollars. Okay. It's only been four years. Four years in that house has, appreci has appreciated, and I'm using air quotes here because once you hear the math, this is going to blow your mind, has appreciated to a million dollars. Well, if you're a millennial or you're somebody that's trying to buy a house now today and not four years ago listen to this math that five hundred thousand dollar house compared to the million dollar house today because interest rates have changed because inflation is now manifesting itself back then that five hundred thousand dollar house you could buy with a three percent interest rate loan but today that same house that million dollar house is seven percent so guess how much more expensive your monthly payment is on that house from just four years ago. It's not twice as much. It's 3.2 times higher than what it was just four years ago. So if, you're, if your monthly payment on this house was, you know, uh, let me see what the numbers are here. Um, well, I, I did a net present value instead. So the, the net present value when the house was 500,000 at 3% was $758,000. Today, the net present value of that house is $2.4 million. What? Um, okay, because it's a million at 7%. Okay, now here's the thing that's really going to blow your mind. You ready? That house back in 2020, in January of 2020, was 70.2 Bitcoin. Okay, you know what it is with the million dollar in fiat terms, uh, what that house is in Bitcoin today? It's 22 Bitcoin. Okay. Wow. So that's a 68% reduction in the price of this house for a person that uses Bitcoin as their unit of account. The house price went down by 68% in the Bitcoiners world, but in the fiat person's world, the price went up by, a, by 100%. It's twice. That's a surreal commentary right there, folks. Now, let me make this very clear. I believe that the simultaneously with all of the truths that we are seeing being revealed right now i believe simultaneously with that we are going to get truth in in our money and that this fiat system will be flushed down the the toilet i believe that that's what this has all been about um however i tend to believe that xrp is going to be where the truth comes from Bitcoin might be allowed to exist, but the real truth is going to be from XRP. Now, Ralph Paul is here weighing in on the manipulation in the markets yesterday. He's not necessarily calling it manipulation, but he's weighing in on what happened. Here with Scott and, uh, and Raul Powell again. Listen in. My, another mantra that I have when you're in the middle of a bull market that has the macro behind it is it's all fucking noise. It's just noise. And so, you know, has the main thesis changed? Is the world becoming less digital or more digital every day? More. Are investors who aren't exposed to it getting more interested in it? Yes. Is there capital flow coming in? Yes. Is the business cycle supportive? Are liquidity conditions supportive? Yes. In which everything else is noise. So it doesn't change anything. It actually gives it a higher probability of rising. And it gives it a higher probability of rising because you flushed out the leverage. There you go. So it actually uh, works to the benefit. Now, I want to give you a commentary on this because my father, who is the official father of the Digital Asset Investor Channel, was asking me about this. So I figured I'd cover it with you guys. Whether there's um, discounted uh, rooms at XRP Las Vegas, if you go, now I have a link, for, if you want, uh, $25 off discount, you can join my group and I've got a $25 discounted link to XRP Las Vegas in there. 
Um, if you if you aren't in the group, then I also have a link, just a regular link in the description of this video. But either way, if it, for those that are going to stay at the MGM Grand, which is where this thing is going to be, on on XRPLasVegas.com, there's they have automatic. All you got to do is click here to, and the, there's a discount for the MGM Grand um, to stay there already if you just follow that link right there you can also follow this link to go get a ticket to the fundraiser that chamber of digital commerce is doing i'll click on that and let you see it because i think brad garlinghouse is going to be there and uh michael errington john deaton brad garlinghouse and christopher giancarlo i will be there myself as well now in daixrp.com here's what we're about to do folks this thing gets this this wormhole gets darker and darker and darker okay and i think it's gonna i think that what we i heard molly elmore say use this phrase and i think that she's right i think that she said that she felt like um i don't know who tucker carlson or somebody was micro dosing people with the truth i believe that that's what our country and our world has been undergoing with all of this stuff we're watching I believe we're being microdosed with the truth, probably because they knew that if you hit everybody with the truth of much of things having been a lie all along, that they wouldn't have been able to take it. I believe that's what what we're experiencing, and I'm going to show. So I'm going to walk you. And trust me, I've heard I've heard some dark things in, uh, over the last two or three years that I have not been able to talk about and will not talk about on the YouTube. But I will talk about them in DAIXRP.com. So when you go in there today, we're going to go to that. We're going to go to one of the darker places so you can really see. And I'm not necessarily weighing in. I'm just telling you, I'm pointing you kind of in the direction because I'm not, there's places I won't even go. So I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends and family. DAIXRP.com